Welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, so, yes, we have another wine. And um, this is the 2008 Tierra de Luna Torontes Chardonnay from Argentina. Got it at World Market for $9.97. Uh, let's do a little bit of a rinse here from uh, Friday's wine. And uh, how are you doing? All right, so this is one of those wineries where I, I did find the website for them, but really nothing about this particular wine. Um, however, I did see a few uh, little comments about it. People seem to have really enjoyed it. Um, so 80% Torontes, 20% Chardonnay, and uh, let's see what it's like in Argentina, Mendoza. So you get kind of the tropical fruit, melony action from the, the nose. Very pleasant, actually. Don't really get any heat out of it, especially since this is room temperature. Pretty pleasant, but nothing complex. Let's we'll see how it tastes. So right off the bat, I got this bit of sweetness out of it that I wasn't expecting. Now it feels a little bit drier. tasty but it's tasty in a semi-sweet way I don't really get much fruit on it it's it's like really light on the fruit I'm going to go with the melony type of, you know, kind of a melon type of flavor profile. Um, I didn't even see if there's anything on here that says I'm supposed to be smelling and tasting. Not really. Um, it's clean. It, it's, it's, it's got some acid to it, but it's all over the place. It's not really like, it's not really concentrated. Um, I don't know. I mean, some of the people that wrote about this were like raving. It was like, you know, awesome. Like it was, I don't know, the miracle cure. Um, and they paid less money than I did for it. Something wrong with it, other than there's really nothing to it. It's it's wine. You can tell it's wine because it has alcohol in it. Um, it. Has a little bit of sweetness to it. The flavor profile doesn't have much to it. it kind of disappears. I, I don't see what other people see in this. And were they looking at the 2008? Yeah, 2008. Yeah, somebody has a 2009 up too. Uh, I 
I don't think it's really that wonderful of a wine. Um, I think it's better than than uh, Friday's wine, so that means I have to give it less than 85. Because um, at least Friday's wine has some flavor to it. This doesn't really, I mean, it's got some flavor to it, but it's just, it's just really muted. 82. I don't think it's really that wonderful for, compared to what other people did. Hey, you know what? It could be, it's, it's all down to your palate. What I can taste, what I what I like, um, it's. I, I don't think it's you know it's not swill that's for sure. Um, maybe if it was chilled a little bit, it might be better, but I don't really think it's that great. No, it's okay, I guess. But it's ten bucks. I mean, if it was like five bucks. I'd be more inclined to go, look, it might be only an 82 point wine, maybe a little bit higher, but it's cheap and buy it at $10. Um, it's still cheap, but I don't think it's $10 worth. I mean, there's plenty of other $10 wines out there that are white that are going to be nice and refreshing that are going to taste better than this. So, yeah. Not so much on that. All right, so um, hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, I know that my basketball team is already – already tanked it for March Madness uh, so I don't and my brackets all messed up so probably even more messed up now now it's Monday I can't even imagine what it looks like now because I had Kansas winning it all and yeah because I really thought they could anyway um, hope you all had a great weekend and um, we'll see everybody again on Wednesday and um, wow I got this done in under seven minutes amazing Oh, click links and friend me up and subscribe to iTunes and there's a link at least to this website below so you have to go to the website for that and donate and executive producer did I cover everything oh you can buy the shirt too we'll see everybody again on Wednesday <laughs>